Let us now get into the first topic to understand the different types of competition. The marketing view of a competition goes like this. You have the desire competitor, you have the generic competitor, the product form competitor and the brand competitor. What does these mean? What does desire competitor mean? What does generic competitor mean? What does a brand competitor or a product competitor mean? Let us try to understand this with a small example of this particular aspect of the marketing comp view of the competitions. Now, when I, when I talk about the desire, what is the desire I have? What desire do I want? Do I want to eat? Do I want to play? Do I want to watch a movie? Do I want to go out with friends? What is the desire at this particular point of time in me? Now, at this particular point of time, for the students, it is a desire to learn something more, to understand the subject of strategic management. So what do you do? You come online, you go ahead and start listening to the lectures that are provided as far as the class is concerned. So similarly, what is the desire a particular person wants to do is basically the desire com competitor. So when a desire happens, you think about many things. You want to either eat, you want to either play, you want to either watch a video. So there is a competition between all these three functions. There's a competition between eating, there's a competition between reading, there's a competition between playing, there's a competition between watching movies. So this, all these three of four aspects of five or ten desires that comes into your mind becomes competitors of each other because all the desires will not succeed it is just one desire that is going to succeed it is either you the desire to eat either the desire to watch a movie either the desire to listen to a music or desire to uh, read a book any one of these desires is going to uh, going to win over the competitors of the other desires that are there. Now, once let's say one of the desire has won. Now, let us say the desire to eat has won. So, when the desire to eat has won, what happens? It becomes the generic competitor. So, desire to eat becomes a generic competitor. What what do I want to eat? Now, the question comes: What do I want to eat? Do I want to have a home food? Do I want to go to a restaurant to have a food? Or do I go to a fast food center to go have, a, have my food? What sort of thing that I need to eat? So that becomes very, very important. So that becomes the generic because here you still have not decided what type of food you want to eat, what food you want to eat. You know you want to eat. You want to eat something. So where do you want to eat it? Do you want to eat it in a restaurant? Do you want to eat it at home? Do you want to go home and have the food? Or do you want to go to a fast food center? Where exactly do you want to go ahead and eat is the question mark. The next thing is that what exactly you want to eat is also a question mark. Now, looking at this particular aspect, let's, under, let's say that, okay, you have decided to eat. Now, you have decided to go to a restaurant to have the food instead of going to your home or instead of going to a fast food center. So, what type of restaurant do you want to go? Which type of restaurant do you want to go and eat? There are different types of restaurants available. You have the South Indian, you have the North Indian, you have the Mughalai, you have the Chinese, you have a choice. You have a choice. Now, when you have a choice, these are the competitors. The Mughalai becomes a competitor to the Chinese. The Chinese becomes a competitor to the South Indian restaurant. So, all these becomes the competitor. Now, they become the competitor in the form of a product. So, they are a product. So, you have different products to choose from. From the generic range of home food, restaurant or fast food, you have now selected, come down to the type of restaurant that you want to get into. So, these become the product competitors for each other now if you go into a south indian restaurant that means the other three restaurants the chinese the mughalai and the north indian restaurants are losing out a sale because of you and the south indian restaurant is gaining a sale because of you because you have entered into the south indian restaurant and you have had your food or you want to have your food in the south indian restaurant now let us say in this particular restaurants you have decided to go into a south indian restaurant to have food instead of the mughalai or instead of the chinese or the north in or north indian restaurant now when you decide to go to a south indian which type of south indian are you do you want to go do you want to go to a south indian that provides the andhra type of food do you want to go to a south indian restaurant that provides karnataka type of food do you want to go to a south indian restaurant that provides the tamil nadu type of food what sort of a food are you looking for 
So which sort of a South Indian restaurant are you looking for? Is it a Lodi hotel or is it, a, is it Sarva number one that is there in Tamil Nadu? Or is it any other Karnataka restaurants or any other type of restaurant, the Kamath hotels? What sort of a hotel are you, are you trying to get into? What sort of a restaurant are you getting to? So this becomes the brand. Now Kamath is a brand. Sarvana Bhavan is a brand, Lodi is a brand. So ultimately, from a desire competitor, you are ending up to a brand competitor. So see how the transformation has happened, how the transformation from the desire con competitor to the brand competitor has happened. Now in the desire competitor, everything was still in the initial stages, whereas in the case of a brand competitor, you have decided to get into Sarvana Bhavan to have your food. So you had a desire to do something, that desire which is to do something either to eat, write, play or to watch a movie ultimately ended up desire for eating. Now when you had a desire for eating then you you had you wanted to find out which of the product that you want to go ahead and eat whether it is a home food which is a generic type of uh, food the restaurant or the fast food which place do you want to go and eat the place is the generic place you can go anywhere when i say home you can go to any place whether it is your home or your friend's home you go to a home to have your food or you then when you decide to have your food in a restaurant which type of restaurant that you want to get into the south indian north indian what sort of a restaurant this becomes a product form and then ultimately the brand whether you want to go to a kamath restaurant whether you want to go into sarva number one or any other restaurant depends on your choice of a particular brand so when you choose a particular brand you decide to go to that particular restaurant and you have your food so these are the types of different types of competitors that are available starting from the desired generic to product and to the brand competitor i hope you have understood this differences between the desire the generic and the product and the brand competitors